Hey guys, Gimme Trades here. Uh, I'm going to check the trade offers for today. Uh, it was three days, so a lot of time for you guys to send in trades. But uh, there's about 40 minutes left. Uh, so I'm going to check the trade offers right now, and I'm going to do something different. Uh, I'm going to check them around 40 minutes, and only take the offers at the last couple minutes, and let other people send in trades. So instead of taking the offers at like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I'm just going to fast forward to near the end, and then accept them all at one time. So uh, more people more people get to send in their trades at the two three minute mark if they have to so anyways we're gonna continue and send in the trades. so first we'll start off with Carey Price uh, he has three trade offers um, Elliot Clutterbuck and Hedman uh, Elliot goes for I think 13 K uh, Clutterbuck goes for about maybe 10 so I was like 23 uh, I'd rather keep Carey Price I think he goes for at least 26 27 so I'm gonna reject that sorry about that uh, Peke Rene and 7k. Uh, Rene is about 16k, so that's like 23. Like I said, price goes for a bit more than that, so I'm going to reject that. Kiprasov, Le Cavalier, uh, Perron, and 2.5k. Uh, no, I don't want these players. I'd rather keep price, so sorry about that. I'm going to reject that. Alright, moving on. So uh, there's no offers on price, uh, two offers on Kunitz. Uh, Richards and 600. I'm not sure how much Kunitz goes for or how much Richards go for, but I know Richards is a centerman, and he, I think he can only go for like 8k, so I'm gonna reject that. I'd rather keep Kunitz. Uh, Carter, Molson, McCulloch, and 3.5k. So I think Carter right now goes for 8k. Molson goes for about 5 to 7. So that's about, I would say, 12. With the pucks, 15. With McCulloch, I think around 16k. Uh, not a bad offer, I'll delete that. So I'll wait until the end of the trade day, around the last minutes, to accept that one. Uh, Corey Conacher with one. Uh, Biz Nasty, how x -Tech NHL says him. Uh, Biz Nasty and 3K. Uh, no, I think Conacher goes for more, even with Biz Nasty. So no thanks. I'm going to reject that. I know he is rare and pretty pricey in the market, but I don't want that offer. Uh, Logan Couture with one. Uh, Ryan Close straight up. Uh, it's not a bad offer, but really I think I'd rather keep... Uh, Couture, because his stats are much better than Close. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to keep Couture, so sorry about that. Going to reject that. Moving on, uh, none on McCulloch, and we got three on Kessler. Um, Miller and Stahl, not a bad offer. Uh, Miller goes for about 40, Stahl goes for about 10, so that's 50, so not a bad offer. Uh, 17K, Pavelski, Burns, S Suter, and Marshawn. Uh, I think Suter and Marshawn can add up to 5K, so that's like 22K. Maybe, yeah, 21 to 22k. Burns is about 9k, so it's like... You can get 30k with the 17k pucks. So 9, uh, 5, so 14, 13, so... That's 30, and Pavelski is about 15, so that's like 45. Uh, I think Pavelski can even go for maybe 20, so that's like 50. Close to other ones, so I'll delay that. And Kessler, 14k, and Schneider. Kessler goes for about 20, 34k with the pucks, and... I think Schneider is going to add, a, add it up to 50, so I'm going to reject that. So sorry about that, whoever sent in that offer. Uh, moving on to uh, Kessler with two still and Le Cavalier with two. So uh, Brian Boyle, or Dan Boyle, what am I saying? Dan Boyle and Simone Gagne. Uh, Boyle goes for about 25 to 30K. Gagne goes for about maybe 7 to 8K, maybe more, uh, maybe 9. So this is about 35, 36K and... I'd rather keep the Cavalier for that, so sorry sorry about that. Uh, Horton, Yemi, Ladd, and Marshawn. So Horton goes for about 10. Uh, I checked in the market actually for Horton, and there's none in the market, uh, which is surprising. Uh, I see I see a couple guys selling at 10K with just starting price like two, three days. So I'm not totally sure. Uh, I think he could go for 10K since he was in the start of the week. Uh, Yemi goes for about, what team is he on? Uh, is he boosted? No, he's not boosted. Uh, Niemi, I would think, goes for at least 10 to 15. That's 25. Lad goes for 20, so that's 45. Marshawn goes for about 15, so that's about 60. That's a pretty good offer, straight up for Le Cavalier. Yeah, so I'll delay that. Uh, moving on to... We got uh, Curry with 60k bid and 3 trade offers. So let's check that out right now. Uh, Gabrick, straight up. Uh, Gabrick goes for about 58k, and Curry goes... Well, 60k already with a bid. So I'm going to reject that. I, I don't want a left-wing Gabrick. Uh, rather keep the 60k pucks. Uh, Kessel, Stahl, Wagulov, and 2k. Kessel goes for about, 
I would think 30 with the 2K is about 32. Uh, be right back, guys. Phone's ringing. All right, moving on. Uh, the phone just finished ringing, so we got Kessel, Stahl, Radulov, and 2K. Kessel's about 30, Stahl's about 10, so that's 40. 42. Rather have the 60K pucks, in my opinion, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, 4K and Gabrick, so Gabrick goes for about 58, so that's about 62K, so that's a pretty solid offer, so I'll take that. Uh, maybe if I'll wait for other offers to come in. Uh, moving on to, uh, so Curry we checked, uh, none for Kunitz, and one on Hasek. Alright, so we'll check that right now. Lennon, Ryan, Crawford, and Kunitz. So, Lennon goes for maybe 6 to 8K, Ryan goes for like 8K, 16, 18 with the pucks. Uh, you know what, I'd rather keep Hasek than four four people. Like, you can send me four for one trades, but it's... Uh, it's a hard, it's hard to sell it because I have no trade pile spaces available, and I don't want to keep them in my collection, so I'm going to reject that, sorry. I'd rather have one Hasek than four players. Uh, I just don't like four for one trades, so whoever is sending in four for one trades, uh, try to keep it at like two or three, and just four is too many. Uh, we got Taves with two, uh, Weiss, Felino, Seidenberg, and Wilson, nope, no thanks. Uh, Kessler, Nash, and Martin, so Kessler goes for 20. Nash goes for about 20, so that's 40. And Martin goes for about 20, maybe 25. So that's 65. And no, I'm going to reject that. I'd rather keep Taves over those three players. So I'm going to reject that. Uh, moving on to uh, Jamie Benn with three trade offers. We got Havlat, Garrison, 25K, and a 25-game contract. So Havlat's about 4 or 5. Uh, Garrison is about 19, 18, 19. Uh, so that's about 40, 43, 40, no, no thanks, I'd rather keep Ben. Marshawn, Alfredson, Pavelski, Marshawn goes for about 15, Alfredson goes for about 15, so that's 30, Pavelski goes for about 20, so that's 50, uh, no thanks, I'd rather keep Ben than those three players. Uh, Marlo, Nash, the Cavalier, and Pacioretty, another 4 for 1 trade, so Marlo's like 20k, Nash is 20, uh, so that's 40, the Cavalier is like 6 to 8. I think 6K, that's a fair uh, guess. Uh, 12 with Pacioretty is about, I would think, 10. 10, uh, 22, 42, 62, no. I'd rather keep Ben over four players. Just easier to sell one Ben than four of these guys, so I'm going to reject that. So no offers on Ben that I liked. Uh, moving on, uh, we will check Kovalchuk. And I really have to talk about this guy. Like, he, if you ever play with Kovalchuk, he's pretty amazing in the game. Uh, even though his skating or isn't that great, he's still a really solid player to have on your team. He, he could easily play on a second or third line if you wanted to. Uh, I just feel like he's a lot like uh, Corey Perry. Uh, he might not have the fastest acceleration, but he has a really nice top speed. Like, when you really need to uh, break out with him, uh, he's actually a really good player to have. Especially with the size, six foot three, two thirty. Uh, he's a beast in the game. He's almost like a Kovalchuk, or almost like an Ovechkin size. So he's actually not a bad player. If you put a plus three on him, I w I probably would compare him with Ovechkin in terms of the size and speed. But anyways, Kovalchuk. Uh, he's around eighty k. Hall, Carter, Pavelski. Hall's about twenty three. Pavelski's about twenty, so that's forty three with the pucks. Forty eight. Uh, Carter is about 30, uh, so that's about 78. I'd rather keep Kovalchuk, in my opinion. Uh, I, I know a new pack just came out, and Carter is on that team of the week again. So, I don't feel like taking that. I feel like Carter might drop a lot in price, maybe to even 20k, so I'm going to reject that. I'd rather keep a base card like Kovalchuk. Uh, I know he is pretty solid with eight, like on the 80k mark. Uh, Ribeiro, Stahl, Buffalo, and Ben. Uh, four for one trade, like, Ribeiro, like, could go for 40. I've seen him go for, like, 35 to 40 when packs are out. Uh, so it's 40, 50, 60. Ben, it's, like, 8K with 10K, it's, like, 78. Like I said, like, I don't like four for one trades. It's really hard to sell. It takes too much time. And I'd rather keep Kovalchuk. I know a lot of people like Kovalchuk better, so I'm going to reject that. It's a great offer, but it's just not there for me. Uh, especially when I'm just all based on trading. And I don't have enough trade pile spaces in my uh, on this account, so it's kind of a waste to take that four for one trade than rather just having Kovalchuk. Anyways, again, love with one. 
Uh, I'm trying to click A, but it's not clicking. Uh, don't know why. Just frozen here. I'll be right back, and hopefully I can solve that issue. Alright, I am back. Uh, I just checked the offer for Ginla. Uh, teaming in, the, I'm guessing the team of the year version. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather keep a Ginla. A Ginla has dropped a lot in price, though. Uh, teaming in, still, it's not worth the value of a Ginla, so I'm going to reject that. Let's keep moving on to... Uh, we've got Zach Parise with two trade offers. Uh, Gretzky, the 90 version. Yep, New York Rangers, Kessel, and 17K. So Gretzky goes for about 90, maybe even 80. So with the pucks, that's about 100. Uh, Kessel is about 30, so it's like 130. So, and he's on the left wing, so I'm going to reject that. I'd rather keep Parise over that trade. 121K straight up, and Grabner, so it's like 125 maybe. I'm going to reject that. I think Zach Parise goes for at least 150 plus, so I'm going to reject that. Plus, he's not in the team of the week anymore, so uh, he's not even in the playoffs anymore, so he can't be in the next team of the week, so uh, I'd rather keep Parise. Uh, next, we got Taves with one. Uh, Marlowe and Corey Perry. So Marlowe goes for about 85 to 90. Uh, Perry goes for, I haven't seen in the market, but I think he goes for about 50. So that's like 90 and 50, 140. Uh, I'd rather keep Taves. Like, Corey Perry is the wild card for me. Like, he could be worth a lot. And is he boosted? I think he's boosted a little bit. Uh, no, he isn't. So he's got a pretty nice shot. But uh, I just feel like he's a wild card in terms of the price. Um, Marlow, there's too many in the mar in the market right now. But same with Taves. But I'd rather keep Taves over those two players. They're not that wanted right now, so I'm going to reject that. It's a great offer. Uh, whoever sent that, so thanks to whoever sent that in. Uh, moving on, anyways, to uh, then on these guys. And we got Datsuk with six trade offers. Wow, six trade offers. Um, so we got Taves, Weber, and Kadri. Is he boosted? Yeah. I don't understand why people always send these trade offers. Like, I'm never going to fall for them. Uh, Taves, probably 75 with the Pucks, 85. Uh, Weber's about 15, so he got 100. And Kadri, no, doesn't add up. 88 Kadri, so I'm going to reject that. If it was a 91 Kadri, maybe, but probably no one's going to send that in. Kessler, Ronick, Tiemann, and Peverly. Uh, Kessler goes for maybe 20. Uh, Ronick goes for like 30 to 40, maybe. Maybe even 50. I'm not totally sure on his value, but uh, Tiemann only goes for like 30k, so that's like... I don't think Ronick's worth 100k, so I'm going to reject that. Um... 100k Kessel, Sharp, Weber, and Phaneuf. Kessel goes for about 30. With 100k pucks, is 130. Patrick Sharp goes for 10, so 140. With Weber, 155. Dion Phaneuf goes for about 20, so that's like 175, 180. Uh, I'd rather keep Datsuk over these four players. Like I can sell all of them, like probably if I put them a bit more, less than the. Uh, the market price, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather keep Datsuk, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, Gretzky, yeah, Los Angeles one. He goes for about 110. With the pucks, is about 130. Oh, uh, 137, I mean. Brown goes for about 15, so it's like 152. Bacchus goes for like 15, so it's like 170, 180 again. Uh, I'm going to reject that. I'd rather keep Datsuk. Uh, Kovalchuk, Palmanville, Marlow, and Yakupov. So, Kovalchuk, uh, like I said, goes for about 75 or 80. I think he goes for 75. Uh, Palmanville goes for about 60. I've saw him in the market itself for 65k by now, but no one bought it. So that's like uh, 70 plus 60 is about 130, 135. Marlowe is about 20, so it's 155. So I'd rather keep Datsuk again. I'm going to reject that. Uh, PK Subban, uh, team of the year, 1970, yep, salary. So that's about 100k. Brizgalov can't go for more than 40, I don't think. And Kunitz is about 10 to 15, so uh, he's about 155. No, I'm going to keep Datsuk. Uh, I'd rather keep Datsuk over those players, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, Corey Conacher with another one. So we'll see what that is. 16k straight up. No, I'd rather keep Conacher over that. Uh, I'm not that crazy about pucks. Uh, Kessler, no. Keep moving on to... I guess we have uh, no offers on those guys. Wow. Uh, Taves with one again. Uh, Marlowe and 92 Latang. No, it's boosted. I think he only goes for 50. 50 is 60 maybe. Marlowe, 
Mm, it's not a bad offer. I know Latang goes for like 50 or 60k, but Marlow is just he goes for like 85k, so this offer is like 140 to me. Uh, I'm gonna reject that. Sorry. Rather keep Taves. I think he's worth a bit more after uh, the packs are gone again. So I'm gonna reject that. Uh, moving on to uh, Stamkos with one. Uh, 70k Gretzky and Ash. So Na Gretzky goes for about uh, 90, 80 to 90. Uh, so that's like 155 with the pucks. Nash goes for about 20, so that's 175. I'd rather keep Stamkos over that, so sorry, I'm going to reject that. Uh, let's keep going to uh, Datsuk with three, the team of the year version. Uh, a couple of jerseys and 500, no thanks. Uh, 100k, Kovalchuk, Fleischman, and Kessel. Kovalchuk goes for about 75. Uh, Kessel goes for about 30, so that's like 205, maybe. And two. Fleischman goes for about 25, so that's like 230. It's not a bad offer, but uh, I think Datsu goes for at least 270, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, wow. Uh, Malkin straight up and with Anderson. Uh, I think Datsu goes for like 260 right now. Malkin goes for 300, but he is in the next team of the week and out in the new pack. And Anderson. Uh, I think goes for at least 10k, so that's like 310. Oh man, the stats are pretty similar, but I think there's more want for Malkin than Datsuk, so I'm not totally sure. Uh, I'm probably gonna take that one. That's a nice deal. Uh, I'll keep moving on though. Uh, to Patrick Kane with two trade offers: Dubinsky, Zetterberg, Koivu, Datsuk. Datsuk's about 190. Zetterberg is about 40, so it's like. 230. A Zetterberg might go for 50, so that's 240. A 260 with the pucks, Koivu, Dubinsky, and no, all. That's like 270, maybe 280. Uh, I'd rather keep Patrick Kane, team of the year. Uh, Jonathan Quick, no, no thanks. I'm going to reject that. So I think that's all the trade offers. I still have quite a few to accept. Uh, Conacher, uh, 11K, Harding, Giordano, Bo Meester. Harding, I don't think he can go for more than like 10K. Uh, I think he could go for maybe 6 to 8k. He is only 87 overall, but I'm not totally sure. I have to check the value of him. Uh, Bowmeister, Giordano. Uh, I'm going to quickly check Harding's value. I think he plays on Minnesota, so I'll check that right now. Uh, goalie, Minnesota. There we go. Let's see how much Harding is worth. Uh, yeah, like 10k, but I don't think anybody's going to buy him. Uh, his overall is not that great. Uh, unless you're a really hardcore Minnesota fan, I don't think anybody's going to buy it. Uh, there's not many Minnesota fans compared to like a Leaf fan or uh, Tampa Bay, well not Tampa Bay, like Boston fan. But Bowmeister, Giordano, no, these guys aren't worth that much to me. If Harding goes for 8k, 7 to 8k, that's like almost 20. Giordano goes for like 2, Bowmeister goes for around 2. Giordano might go for a bit more, but hmm, I'll delay it. I'll delay it. I'm not totally sure yet. I'm going to check the values while I pause the video and fast forward. Uh, but I think that's all the offers. There's quite a few that I liked in these. So I'm going to keep going. I think that's about it. Uh, Datsuk with one. Uh, Pyatt, nope. I want to quickly check that offer on Kessler. Uh, see which one is better. Uh, Miller and Stahl or 17k Pavelski, Burns, Suter, and Marshawn. You know what? I'm, I'm going to reject this offer. I like the other offer with Miller in it and the uh, Stahl. Uh, I don't like 4-for-1 trades, and I already have Suter and Marshawn in my collections, so I'm going to have to either put them in my trade pile for next time or at the quick sell them, so I'm going to reject that. I'd rather keep the other offer, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. With all of them with one trade offer, uh, Rick Nash, uh, Seals jersey, no thanks. So I'm going to pause the video and just fast forward if there are any other trade offers. Uh, Datsu, probably Pied again. Uh, Subban, Kess Kessel, and Brizgalov. 100, 130, 170. No, I'd rather have Datsuk. So I'm going to fast forward the clip until there's about 2-3 minutes left. So be right back, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. There's about 3 minutes left. I'm going to check the trade offers right now. Uh, Carry Price with one. Uh, Johnson, another Johnson, the Cavalier, Kiprasov. Uh, Johnson's about 8k, Johnson, this Johnson's about 3.5k, so that's like 9k, 17k, uh, what, Le Cavalier is about 5k, so we got 22, Kiprasov's about 6, 28, 
like I said, I don't I don't like four for one trades because it takes a while to while to sell, and I think I'd rather keep price over those players, so I'm gonna reject that. Like the value is there, but just too many players. Uh, Chris Kunitz, uh, Carter. I'm gonna take this offer. Uh, I like this offer. Carter is about eight k. Uh, plus he's in the team of the week, so this Carter's gonna go up in price. Molson is about six k right now, so it's fourteen with the puck seventeen, and McCulloch is about. 1 to 2k, so it's like 19k. I'll take that. Enjoy your Chris Kunitz start of the week. I'll take these three players. So I am going to, wow, none with uh, McCulloch with contracts. But I will send these to my collection for now. Carter, Molson, McCulloch. Alright, moving on to, uh, we've got Conacher start of the week. And I thought about this offer. Giordano, Bo Meester, and Harding, and I'm going to take that offer. Uh, Conacher is on the center position. So he is worth a bit less because it costs quite a bit to change it back to left wing or right wing. Harding is about 8k, uh, so that's like 19k with these two players, about 20 to 23k. Uh, might be a bit off on that, more or less, but I'm going to take that offer. Enjoy your Corey Conacher start of the week, and I'll take these three players. So I will send them all to my collection again, uh, just for now, so I can save some trade pile space in case. Uh, 93k now. Jake Gardner with one. One uh, k, one k, no thanks. Don't want that. Uh, we got Couture with two. Uh, Lennon two point five k, no thanks. Uh, Heatley Couture, no thanks. Doesn't add up. Uh, we got Kessler with two. Uh, Hosa straight up, no. I like the other offer better. Uh, this offer with Miller and Stahl, uh, I like that offer. Forty k and ten k is about fifty k. So I'm gonna take that offer. Enjoy your Kessler start of the week. And I'll take these two players. So I will send them all to my collection for now. I already have Miller, I guess, so I'm going to send him to my trade pile. So I have three trade pile spaces left. Uh, Le Cavalier with one. And this offer was pretty good. Horton, Niemi, Ladd, and Marshawn. Horton goes for 10. Niemi goes for about 10. Ladd goes for 20. So that's about 50 to 55k for this offer. So I'm going to take that. It's more than I wanted for Le Cavalier. So uh, enjoy your Le Cavalier. He's a good player. Uh, he's a great third, fourth liner for any team, so I'm going to send all these to my collection for now. Like this 4 for 1 trade, like I told you guys I don't like 4 for 1 trades, but uh, that one was worth more than what it was actually worth, so I'll take that. Couture, Heatley have that, Couture, no thanks. Rather keep Couture. Um, Yari Curry with one. Uh, Marion Gabrick, 4K. Uh, the thing is, I already have a Yari Curry. If I check my team, I think I still have another one of him. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the 60k, just so, uh, yeah, I'd rather take the 60k. Like, I already have another Yari Curry, um, or Marion Gabrick. I think I'm going to take the 60k over, uh, this trade offer. Uh, like, I like the trade offer, but to sell Marion Gabrick, I'm going to have to, uh, it's, I'm going to have a 5%, uh, fee, right? So 58k. I'm going to only get 55k, so it's like 59, 60. And I'd rather just have 60k right away, so I'm going to reject that. Thanks to whoever sent that offer. It was really good uh, in terms of value. It's it's there, so uh, not a bad offer, and it's frozen the game again. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll pause the game for now, and I'll fast forward the clip, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I don't know why I did that. It just randomly froze and lost connection. EA servers for you. Uh, 60k bid, yep. I'm going to take that. Taves with two. Uh, Brizgolov and Kunitz, no, I'd rather keep Taves. Uh, Miller, Marlowe, Ryan, and a chain team Islander. Uh, I already picked up a Miller, so that'll be my third Miller on my collection. With Marlowe, no, I'd rather keep Taves. Uh, it's a good offer, like, it's at uh, his value, but um, I already have two Millers already in my collection. I think that will be my third, so no thanks. Rick Nash, uh, 91 version, Oilers, chain team, nope. Uh, Marion, Hosa, Marshawn, and Dupuis. All right. So Mar uh, Hosa, I think, goes for 90. Uh, 90 to 95, maybe. Uh, Marshawn goes for 15. Dupuis goes for about 15. So that's like about 125. Uh, that's not a bad offer. Uh, I'm going to delay that. I'm not totally sure yet. I looked at that offer before, so I'm not totally sure. Uh, Kovalchuk with one. And we got 91 Gretzky straight up. Uh, 91 Gretzky goes for about 100K, so... Kovalchuk goes for about 75, so that's a great offer. I'm going to take that. Enjoy your Kovalchuk. He's a great player. Uh, I'm not sure why he's so undervalued right now, but I'll send him to my active roster for now, so that's nice. Uh, moving on. Uh, looks like Curry's going to be sold. Uh, Nash with two. 
They changed team. Lupo, Pacioretty, and Weidman. Pacioretty goes for about 45. Weidman goes for about 20. So that's 65 with the pucks is 80. And Lupo goes for 30. So it's like 110. I'd rather take the other offer, this one, uh, in my opinion. So I'm going to reject that one. Uh, we got Patrick Kane with one. Uh, 60K in Kessel. Uh, he's centerman position, so that's pretty bad. No one wants him on the center position. And I think Kane goes for about the same value, but... Uh, the right wing Kessel goes for more than the center one, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, sorry, whoever sent that trade in. Yep, so it looks like Curry sold. Nash, you know what? I'm going to take that offer right now, just in case it uh, lags out again. So enjoy your Rick Nash, uh, and I'll take these three players. So got some pretty nice players there. Uh, I'll send them all to my collection for now. And Marshawn, I already have, so I'm going to send them to my trade pile. All right, and we got Chris Kunitz with one. Uh, too late. No one good anyways. Uh, we will move on to Zach Crazy with one. Uh, PK Subban and Kessel, no. Uh, Crazy goes for like 150, and those guys don't add up to 150, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, Lemieux with one. Uh, Dianov, no, no thanks. Uh, moving on to Datsuk with five again. Wow, so it really built up. Uh, Kovalchuk, 30k, Fleischmann, and Flurry. Kovalchuk goes for 75, so it's like 100, 125. No, no thanks. We're going to reject that. Uh, Campbell, Boland, Leguan, Lombardi, no thanks, reject that. Uh, Ronick, Gilmore, the Legends, no thanks. 80k and Semin, uh, looks like he's boosted. Uh, yeah, he's boosted. Uh, the stats don't look right. I'm not totally sure, but you can reject that. 90, I think 87 Semin only goes for like 60k, so you can reject that. Uh, 25k, the 90 Gretzky and Gabrick. Uh, 90 Gretzky goes for about 90k, with the pucks 115 and Gabrick. Uh, is about 60, so it's like 175, no thanks, gonna reject that, so no offers I really like on Datsuk, Patrick Kane with one, uh, centerman at 65, no, no thanks, I don't want uh, Kessel with the uh, centerman position, uh, uh, Stamkos with one, Lyde, Marlowe, Nash, War doesn't add up, I'm gonna reject that, and let's see if there's any other other offers, I got two on Datsuk, and I thought about this offer, not, not this one, Thought about this offer. I'm going to take this offer, like, the last couple minutes. Uh, but I don't think any other offer is going to beat it. Because uh, it's a pretty good offer. Uh, Patrick Kane with one. Uh, Kane, Hosa, no. Kane goes for, like, 100 maybe. So that's 180, 220. No, that's worse than the other offer I got for Patrick Kane. Uh, Ginla with one. And Timonen, no. Like I said, I don't like that offer. Uh, Krejci goes for about uh, 45. To 50, Pacioretty goes for 45, 50, so that's about 100k. Uh, that's not a bad offer. I'll delay that. I uh, don't have that much time, so I'm gonna quickly check the offer of uh, value. I mean, of Krejci and Pacioretty. So Boston. Uh, let's just check qu quickly. Uh, quickly check. Sorry, that's my cat. Uh, Krejci. There, there's one. 50k. Uh, not on that one. Yeah, so he's about 50k. Pacioretty, I think, goes for 50k at least. Uh, he's not a bad player. I know there's a pretty big fan base for Montreal. 35, 45, 50, 45. So it's about 95. And again, like, goes for about 80 right now. And I pr I'm pretty sure he's in the next start of the week. So, you know what? I'll take that offer. Enjoy your uh, again, and I'll take these two players. So, not a bad offer. Uh, I'll send them all to my collection for now. There you go. And we'll move on. Got a couple more to go through. Patrick Kane with two. 70k in Kessel. Uh, I'll delay that. 30k Perry Clone. No. Uh, Kessel and 70k. That's a pretty good offer. Uh, if I were to put a right wing position on him, it only would cost 5k, I think. Um, you know what? I'll take that offer. Enjoy your Patrick Kane start of the week, and I'll take 70k and Kessel. So, not a bad offer. Uh, I don't like him on the center position, but. It's not that bad. Uh, Zach Parise with one. Brzezgalov, Gabrick, and Kessel. I already picked up a Kessel. Gabrick's about 60, 90, 130. No, gonna reject that. Rather keep uh, Parise for next trade day. Uh, Datsu with three. Uh, Ronick, no. Not this offer again. Uh, Kolachuk, no. Don't want that. You just added like 10k pucks. Uh, PK Subban and Gretzky. Uh, that's not a bad offer. I'm gonna delay that. Um, I'll check Taves first. 
uh, 10K Kovalchuk Kane Hosa. So Kovalchuk goes for 70, 75. Kane goes for about 45. So that's 120 with Hosa 160, 170 for this deal. Uh, I think Hosa goes for less than 40 now. I heard some people say in the video he goes for about 30. So 40, 80, about 150k. So that's not a bad offer. Uh, let me just quick check uh, Lemieux. 91 Gretzky, and, oh 90 Gretzky, and Kessel. So that's like 120. No thanks. I'm gonna rather keep uh, Lemieux. Uh, let's check. So Taves. Um, that's not a bad offer. 30, 40. Left wing Kane. Uh, that's about 80. You know what? I will take this offer. Uh, Jonathan Taves is a good player, but I do like these players. Uh, so I'll take that. Enjoy your Jonathan Taves start of the week, and I'll take these three players. So not a bad offer. A lot of you guys might be saying, oh, I should have not taken that, but you know what? It's pretty even trade, so I'm going to send that to my trade pal for now. All right, so uh, Zach Prize with one quickly. Aginla, Hall. Uh, all right, so I accepted that offer. Um, I think that's a bit worth a bit less than what I thought. Aginla, Hall. You know what? Not a bad offer, I guess. Uh, cut impulse. I think Hall goes for about 60, again like about 80, so it's like 140. Uh, it's not a bad offer, I guess, so I didn't lose too much, but whatever. Moving on, uh, Datsuk with 4, uh, Kane, Fleischman, and Flurry. Is that my Kane? 120, no. No thanks, I'm going to reject that. Uh, nope, don't want that offer, don't want that offer. And this Gretzky and Subban deal, so let's quickly check their values. Uh, Subban and... Uh, Gretzky. I'll check Gretzky first. I think he is on New York Rangers. Quickly check that. 180, about 85. And then we got, um, what, what's his face? Um, we got P.K. Subban, that's right. P.K. Subban on Montreal on right defenseman. So, let's check him out. Um, 1970, yeah, 1970. So he goes for about 100k, I would think. So that's about 180 to 190. So that's a pretty solid offer in terms of the value for Datsuk. Stahl, Weir, uh, Koch, I don't know his name. Reject that. You know what, I'll take this offer. Enjoy your Datsuk, and I'll take this offer. So not a bad one. Uh, I will send them all to my collection for now. Don't mind picking up a Team of the Year Subban. Uh, moving on to Stamkos with one. Dying off again, nope, don't want that. Uh, moving on to Datsuk with three. Uh, nope, don't want this offer. 200k and Giroud, so Giroud is about 50k, 250. I'm gonna reject that. I'd rather have this offer with Malkin and Anderson. I'll delay it in case anybody wants to send in last minute offers. Stamp close with two. Uh, Marlowe, no thanks, doesn't add up. Anderson doesn't add up. No thanks to those. Uh, moving on to Kane with two. Uh, 81k, so that's about 180. 190, 200, 240, no thanks. Rather keep uh, Kane. Uh, Patrick Kane straight up and 260k. Uh, no, I'm gonna reject that. I think Kane goes for a bit more than that. Uh, Stand close with one. Dan off again, nope. Uh, we'll move on to uh, Zetterberg with one. Uh, Datsuk, start of the week, straight up for and 1k. Uh, that's not a bad offer, I guess, but I'd rather keep Zetterberg. He has much better stats, uh, but good trade though. Two trades for Datsuk. No, this offer does not add up at all. Uh, whoever's sending that in. Uh, Stamkos with one. Uh, all these people, nope, don't even want to look at that. Uh, Zetterberg with one. Uh, Datsuk, uh, Gabrick, and Brizgalov. So uh, Datsuk's about 190. Gabrick's about 60, so it got one, 250. Uh, Brizgalov's about 40, 290. It's not a bad offer. But I'm gonna reject that. I don't. I want. I don't want to pick up another Gabrick if I did pick one up. Uh, Gretzky, the '93 version. No, nope, doesn't add up at all. Um, Datsuk with two. Uh, Jer uh, that Taves, 50k in Giroud. Taves goes for like 150. It's 200 now. 250 again. I'd rather have this Malkin deal. So coming down to the final seconds, I guess. And you know what? I'm gonna take this deal for Datsuk, Malkin, and Anderson. That's Pretty good offer. Enjoy your start of the week, Datsuk. 
and I'll take Malkin and Anderson. So not a bad trade. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good trade. What am I saying? I'll send that to my active roster. So let's see if there's any other trades. Uh, I think that's about it. I'll fast forward if there's any other trade offers. We'll be right back. All right, last minute trade offers. Just one more. Uh, 68k Taves and Giroud. Taves goes for like 150, so it's like uh, 218 with the Giroud. Doesn't add up. I like the other offer with 260k. Another one on Kane. 260k Carlson and Kane. So Kane goes for about 40, and then Carlson goes for like 30. So that's 70. So that's 330 for Kane. Uh, that's a pretty good offer. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this offer. I wouldn't mind picking up 260k pucks. Um, yeah, I'll take that offer. Enjoy your team of the year, Kane. Finally got him off my hands. And I'll take these two players. So, not a bad offer. I like that one. It's almost the same value of uh, Kane, so it was pretty good. Uh, it looks like there's no offers on these guys, which I'm pretty surprised about. But I'm going to fast forward the clip and show you if there's anything else. So, be right back. Alright guys, the trade day is over. Uh, thanks to whoever sent in a trade. Pretty successful trade day. I think I did around 7 or 8 trades. I hope you like that new kind of style that I did it in. Uh, I think there's more people to send in trades and kind of uh, send in better trades at the 40 minute mark so they had some time to kind of gather up another trade. But thanks for whoever sent in a trade. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And see you guys later. Bye.